guys. Uh, a number of people have been asking me how to get that Zac Efron physique that he was sporting for the movie Neighbors. So in this video, I'll be breaking down exactly what's going on there. So um, if you look at Zac Efron in the movie, he's actually really lean. That's the main thing. He's at about 9% body fat. So he's lean enough to really show the ab definition. Um, his face is you know, pretty angular as always. And so that's really the number one thing is he's got the leanness. Now his body isn't that muscular. Yet people are asking about his body all the time and girls are going crazy for it. And that's simply because he has the right level of uh, body fat. Um, secondly, if you look at his physique, the area that he's really the most developed are actually his arms. So his biceps are very big. Um, he, actually, he actually probably fits into like a medium or small t-shirt um, because his chest and his back are defined but they're not that big. Um, and his shoulders are decently developed. Um, so really what's going on is he's really gone to a low body fat built his abs up so they show very nicely, adds decent amount of size to his arms, um, and then he kept his chest and back pretty flat, but still gave it the development that it really needs to pop out. And so, as far as his physique is concerned, I'd really classify it in that warrior, um, that Kino body warrior class. So basically you're leaner, um, your muscles are pretty much on the smaller developed side, but it's just enough you know, to fill out a t-shirt, and it's just enough to kind of you know, tell people, you know, you can't be messed with. Um, so, I mean, I think his body's pretty good. For him to take to the next level, he's going to really need to build up the chest and back. But playing a college kid, for example, in the movie, like, Neighbors, he doesn't want to look that big. He doesn't want to be identified or put in the role as, like, workout meathead. Um, and so he achieved that by just being really fit and lean and just having a little bit of muscle. Um, and so I actually talk about the workout to get that look, um, which basically builds up your arms a lot and your shoulders a lot and then just adds the enough, just the perfect amount of muscle to your chest and back. So I wrote that at kinobody.com. There's a link in the description that you can go to hit. And essentially what's going down is you're hitting your arms twice per week. I mean your biceps twice per week on Monday and Friday. And on those workouts, you're doing one heavy exercise to build strength, to build some, uh, some muscle. And then you're doing another light exercise to get that pump, fill your muscles in with glycogen, and get that sarcoplasmic growth. Um, chest and back are being hit once heavy per week and your legs are getting hit once heavy per week. And same thing with shoulders, they're getting hit he uh, heavy once per week and then light once per week. So this sort of setup basically allows you to build up your arms and your shoulders very fast and make strength and uh, um, density increases onto your chest and back without overdoing it. So it's the perfect plan to get that Zac Efron physique, but it's not gonna happen unless you get to that right body fat percentage range. So you need to bring your body fat down to eight to 10% body fat for that to really work. Now, Zac Efron is just one of those kids that just loses weight if he doesn't try and do anything. So if he was just to kind of eat normally and just, you know, go about his life, he'd probably lose weight. So he doesn't really have to worry about the nutrition for leaning down. But for 95% of us, we aren't going to stay that lean naturally. We actually have to track our nutrition to ensure we get to that body fat range. Um, and if you are someone that's underweight, then yes, you're going to have to focus on eating to build muscle. But this is all stuff I'll cover in the article, so go to the link in the description and you guys can check it out. So that's the Zac Efron workout for neighbors. Alright guys, take care.